I have to admit, I felt a little bit nuts before I left the house today, making sure I had my gloves with me. Yeah. But I know I'll be thankful I made that move when I leave work tonight. I, I'm glad we all enjoyed shorts and t-shirts yesterday yeah. because we're out of that for a little bit. Oh, yeah, reality's settling in, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I left my jacket in the car. I'm going to oh. be regretful in a little yeah. bit here. Uh, but yeah, we have got uh, some crazy weather to talk about. I mean, you look, uh, northern portions of the state already have a little bit of snow on the ground. Uh, no, we don't all, but you look it up in Algona and uh, a little bit of snow out on the roads there. West Des Moines not looking bad. We've got the overcast skies. No snow here just yet, but we've got the cold wind chills in the teens already. We have got single digits below zero to the north. And you look at Keokuk fighting the good fight down there, still at 52 degrees. Uh, but you look at Super Doppler right here, we're quiet in central Iowa. Though snow continues up through Waterloo, Iowa Falls, Sumner, and they have got severe weather making its way through uh, western portions of Illinois, just east of Davenport. They've had some confirmed tornadoes out there, and we still have a line of snow pushing its way through the western portion of the state. So that's going to continue to march eastward, and as it does, it's been coating a few of the roads. We've got partially covered roads out near Sioux City, south of Sioux City, all the way to Ottawa. So if you got plans to head out there, well, this is what's going to greet you. It just looks awful compared to what we had out there. 12-hour uh, forecast tomorrow, starting off with temperatures not quite in the teens. We'll have wind chills below zero, and as we head into the afternoon, only topping out back into the low to mid 30s. Winds will be strongest in the morning, and they'll start to back down a bit, especially as we head into the evening, but it's still going to be wind chilly all day long. Thankfully, though, we've got that sunshine to work with. So tracking things out for you here. Notice the snow continuing by 10 p.m. We're enveloped by it. That continues to march eastward, winds staying very strong. We'd see, we could see gusts upwards of 45 miles per hour even into the overnight. That's got the potential to blow a little bit of that snow around and cause for some slick conditions and limit visibilities. So if you've got plans to be out on the roads, take it a little bit slower. At least the skies clear out as we head through midday tomorrow. Winds again backing down into the day on Wednesday there. Winds returning to out of the south on Thursday. That's going to mean warmer air is going to be on tap for us. But again, don't expect a ton of snow with this. We're largely talking under an inch and even under a half of an inch for a lot of us, but still could lead to some slick conditions out there. So we talk about what we can expect coming up, though. This area of cold air is going to continue to push eastward. And as we end of the weekend, another surge of warm air is going to work its way in. That could push us to near 80 degrees by the end of the weekend. So potential for more record warmth. But well, we got to get through a little bit before we get there. Wind chills tonight, 0 to 15 below. We'll be down to 11 again with that chance for a little bit of snow. 33 is your high tomorrow. We'll be 8 degrees below average. That's the first furthest we've been below average in quite some time. But heading into the weekend up to 62 on Friday, 70s on Saturday, 78 would be a record on Sunday. Previous record 76 set back in 1921 over 100 years ago. After that chances for strong storms Sunday into Monday as temperatures decrease into the low 50s.